Daniel Sports Center, we go for a college football game preview and prediction on the 2023 Pac-12 championship matchup between the Washington Huskies and the Oregon Ducks, two teams that have had incredible seasons getting to this point. And as the Pac-12 comes to a close, only one of these teams will be the final Pac-12 champion and only one of these teams will advance to the college football playoff for a chance at a national championship. So stakes going to be higher in this matchup. This is basically a college football playoff game here. We'll be going for a full game preview and prediction on this match period today. Let's get started with your team trends. Washington beat Washington State 24 to 21 last week. Huge win for the Huskies there. And this team managed a perfect regular season. 12 and 0 on the season are the Huskies. But there is a reason why Oregon is the favorite in this matchup. The Ducks are 11 and 1. Their one loss being to Washington back in October. But down the stretch, if you look at both teams, Washington hasn't been quite as dominant as Oregon. The Huskies have found a way in each of their games, but they have had a lot of close games down the stretch versus Oregon, who has just blown out pretty much every team they've played. Like, they just beat Oregon State 31-7. Oregon State is a good football team. That is one of the better teams in the Pac-12 this season. Yeah, that was ranked top 15 for the majority of the year. And so for the Ducks to beat them as they did, this team is 11-1, 8-1 in conference. Obviously, the one loss to Washington. I mean, this is a way for the Ducks to avenge that loss. And honestly, if they can do that, they should very well be in the college football playoff. Games will be on Friday the 1st in Las Vegas. Kickoff is 5 p.m. Pacific. Spreads going Oregon here by 9.5. So, I mean, the Ducks are actually favored by a decent margin here, probably a little bit heavier than at least I was expecting. But it makes sense to see the Ducks as the favorite over under 67.5. And, and the FPI is going with the Ducks as well, right around 75%. Series history. Huskies lead at 62 to 48. We saw the Huskies win the last matchup, the last two matchups for that matter, but Oregon has won six of the past 10. Your stat comparison, Washington ninth in points per game, 40th in points allowed. This is the second ranked passing game in the country that has finally changed this past week. I think the Huskies were ranked number one there uh, since probably mid-September, I would say, sometime around there. That has since changed though. Oregon is now the top ranked passing game in the country, Bo Nix has passed up Michael Penix in pass yards, and so that kind of puts it into perspective there. I mean, Washington, for the majority of the season, has been known for their brutal offense, their brutal passing game. Their defense not quite as strong, but uh, they can beat you in the passing game. Well, down the stretch, it's kind of been a different story. This offense hasn't been quite as good, and so that definitely is a reason for concern. And since then, Oregon has passed up uh, Washington in the passing game. Bo Nix has right over 3,900 yards of passing yards. Michael Penix is right below that. So it's not a big difference, but Oregon is now number one there. And uh, another big difference, though, is you look at the rushing game. Washington is 102nd in rushing yards a game this season. Oregon on the other side is 38th. So, I mean, you look at the defense as well for Washington, 120th in pass defense. Oregon is 62nd. I mean, the Ducks have a clear advantage here statistically. They're a more complete team than Washington. And I mean, while the Huskies' main strength from the, for the majority of the season has been the passing game, that has since slowed the past few weeks. Your recent matchups, Washington beat Washington State 24-21, to beat Oregon State 22-20. to So they've found a way down the stretch, a few one-possession wins. But, I mean, that Oregon State game, that was, I mean, the Beavers were red hot heading into that matchup. So uh, that loss shouldn't be overlooked. Even against Utah, a really strong defense. Scoring 35 there was impressive. Scoring 52 on USC, beating them. Uh, beating Stanford, the defense kind of let that game go there. But, I mean, down the stretch, at least the defense has shown up for the Huskies a bit. The offense hasn't been quite as strong the last couple of games, but at least the defense has shown up and at least shown some potential. But as for the Ducks, beat Oregon State 31-7, to beat Arizona State 49-13. to I mean, you can see, I mean, the Ducks are just, they've been brutal down the stretch. They beat Utah 35-6, to beat Cal 63-19. Also beat USC 36 to 27. Key points: Washington 12 and 0 since beating the Ducks. This team hasn't been quite as dominant, but on the flip side for Oregon, they have. This team has only gotten better this season, and that's a big reason why Oregon's the favorite. They've played better down the stretch. They're the hotter team right now, and so it makes sense to see the Ducks as the favorite, considering that. But I will say about Washington, despite this team not being quite as dominant. This team finds a way. You consider the Utah game, the Oregon State game, the Washington State game. All three of them were close, but the Huskies found a way. This team can they make a big player or two down the stretch, and they can beat you despite not being super dominant and making sure that if you're a Washington fan, you're stressed out as well. But, I mean, you look at this offense with Michael Penix. Even for Oregon and Bo Nix, you got probably two of your 
top quarterbacks in the country going head to head here. You could argue these are the top two quarterbacks in the country this season. And the funniest part is it's out of the Pac-12. The Pac-12 has had an incredible season. That's why it's so unfortunate to see how it crumbled back in August and uh, in, in this past off season. And uh, the Pac-12 is no more. And this is pretty much your last Pac-12 game. I mean, you got obviously the Pac-2 next season with Oregon State and Washington State. But as, as for today's Pac-12, this is it. So obviously that's what this, is, this game is going to be remembered for. And also, I mean, you consider what's on the line as well. I mean, it's, it's critical when you consider the college football playoff and potentially national championship, which, by the way, either one of these teams could very well win a national championship this season. So it's tough to see only a four-team playoff and only one of these teams can really get in. But for Oregon, they are a more complete team. I mean, that's you look at the stats, you look at the players, you look at both teams, Oregon is the more complete team. Washington's main advantage this season has been the passing game. It's I mean, their defense hasn't been quite as good but they've really found a way on offense with the passing game. But down the stretch, it just hasn't been the same. So can Washington find a way to pass an Oregon and, and Michael Penix can find a way to have another huge game? And that's what's going to be really crucial here, I think, for the Huskies. And when you look at the playoff picture as well, the winner of this game is more than likely going to end up as the number three seed. And if Georgia or Michigan somehow get beat, uh, that could mean that one of these teams could be number two. So... And no matter what, if you're Oregon, Oregon's probably going to be ranked number five, I would imagine, this upcoming Tuesday. Uh, they should probably jump Florida State or whoever's number four if they do beat Washington. So number three seed on the line. Don't have to play Georgia in the first semifinal more than likely. So obviously a lot on the line considering that. And so with that, let's get the prediction here for Oregon and Washington. Coming up here in the Pac-12 title game, the final Pac-12 championship who is it going to be? I'm going with the Ducks. 38-27 is my predicted final score. It's the way the Ducks have been playing. And by the way, it is very tough to beat a team twice in a college football season. We have seen that so many times over the years and over the decades. And, I mean, in this matchup, it's, it's that story. And also, Oregon has been playing very well down the stretch, better than the Huskies. So, I think Oregon's going to find a way in this matchup. I do think the Huskies hang in there, but I do think that – uh, it's it's probably going to be a 10 to 14 point win somewhere in there for the Ducks. Just the way that Bo Nix and the way this team has been playing down the stretch, they've been dominant. They've been brutal to beat. And I mean, you consider the way they just played against Oregon State, a top 15 team in the country. And, I mean, the Ducks are hot right now. They're going to be tough to beat. So I'm going to say 55 to 60 percent towards the Ducks over under 67 and a half. I'm taking the under. I don't think it's going to be quite as high scoring as some might think. Um, but I do think it's still a moderate scoring matchup and you know, Oregon covers the spread in the end. But no matter what happens here, both teams have had incredible seasons. For Washington to be 12-0 heading into this matchup and Michael Penix and everything should not be underestimated. An incredible season for both teams. I just think Oregon finds a way in the end for this one. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup. Pretty much a college football playoff matchup. While Michigan and Ohio State pretty much was last week, this one is as well. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. Appreciate you guys all watching. I'll catch you on the next one.